Hi everyone, Faisal here from Solaris Kit. Today I'm going to talk about how to heat a hot tub using just solar energy. So hot tubs have become really popular in recent years for obvious reasons. They're a great way to uh, enjoy, relax and just have a bit of fun, uh, especially when the weather's like this. Uh, but the problem is it takes a huge amount of energy to heat a hot tub because you've got several hundred liters of hot water uh, and typically you're using electricity to heat that water. Turns out though that solar energy is a great way of heating the water inside a hot tub to that temperature of 38, 39 degrees Celsius. Um, at Solaris Kit, we developed uh, the HT100 kit, which provides a complete solution to allow anyone to install their own solar hot water system. You don't need any experience or um, any professional installers. You just follow our simple instructions and you can install your own solar heating system for your hot tub so you can start saving uh, straight away. So in this video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about uh, the complete system. So um, other than the hot tub, the, the main piece of kit is obviously the solar collectors, which is turning the sunlight into heat. So let's just have a quick look at the solar collectors. So with the system, we've just got uh, four collectors um, connected to heat up that one hot tub. Now, if you're not familiar with our solar collectors, uh, this is actually how they look fully assembled. They're these um, quite unique looking prismatic shaped solar collectors. Um, I say assembled because what's also very different about our solar collectors is that they're manufactured as a flat packed kit. So this really makes it quite easy to ship and send anywhere in the world. And the idea is that basically anyone can assemble our solar collectors in around 20 to 30 minutes without any tools or experience. Uh, like installing the system, you can just watch a really simple step-by-step -step video uh, to build up the solar collector. Now the idea is you can have as many solar collectors as you want to heat uh, your hot tub. We find four to six uh, suitable for, for most hot tubs. So if you're looking to try and heat the hot tub uh, a bit faster, we'd recommend having the six collectors or if you've got a really large hot tub, uh, go for the six collectors. But if you've got a small hot tub uh, and you're not worried about it heating up too quickly, you know, four's a, a great number like we've got uh, set up here. Now the way the collectors are installed is really quite simple. What we've done is we've just daisy chained the solar collectors together. So what I mean by that is water from the hot tub is first pumped to the first collector, uh, which I'm pointing at. It gets heated up a little, uh, comes out of the first collector, goes into the second collector, gets heated up further again, goes to the third collector, repeats uh, with the heating process, and finally goes to the fourth and final collector, where it then gets pumped back to uh, the, the hot tub. So the hot tub water is just going to the first collector um, through all of the collectors, and then back to the, the hot tub. Now we try to make the installation process as easy as possible at Solaris Kit. So we just uh, use quick connect fittings so there's no threads or adhesives involved. Uh, you literally just get the fitting, push the pipe into it and you're good to go. It's got a, a strong seal there, especially for the pressures we're talking about with these systems. So as you can see, the soil collectors um, can be just placed uh, anywhere sunny. So it could be the lawn, it could be the ground, it could be the roof uh, if you want. Uh, but basically our recommendation would be anywhere where there isn't too much uh, shading because uh, we want as much solar energy to go to the solar collectors. You don't have to worry too much about how to point the solar collectors as well. Uh, that's quite unique about our solar collectors is that they can passively track the sun. So you can imagine as the sun rises, uh, the, the prisms are getting sunlight and as the sun moves across the sky, uh, we're always getting uh, that, that energy. So they're quite a simple system to, to install. Now the second uh, key component for this system is the pump. So the pump is actually located inside the hot tub. Uh, again, we try to make it as simple as possible uh, to install. So what we do is we use a really small 12 volt DC pump, which is actually dropped into the hot tub. So it's a really simple installation process. You don't have to do that as well. You could uh, tap into the drain fitting of the hot tub uh, to get the flow of water from the hot tub through to the solar collectors. Uh, and then what you do is you just drop uh, a bit of pipe into the hot tub, uh, which is the hot water coming from the solar collectors. So it really is as simple uh, as that for the hydraulic connections. So you drop the pump in, pump the water out of the, the hot tub, 
through to the first collector, second collector, third collector, fourth collector, and then pump the, the water back from the fourth collector to the hot tub. Now to automate all of this, uh, we include uh, a small temperature controller, which is constantly measuring uh, the temperature of the, the system. So um, our controller uh, actually just looks like uh, this unit here that you can see. So uh, we just got it mounted on some uh, aluminium just for our little setup in Dundee. Um, but inside the, the box is a, a PCB uh, with our electronics and our software. And basically how it works is we measure two temperatures, one of the hot tub, the second one of the soil collectors. And based off our software, if we think there's solar energy and your hot tub needs a bit of uh, heating, it'll turn the pump on, start the heating process, uh, and when it reaches temperature, it'll just switch uh, the, the pump off. So it literally is a case of just uh, installing the system, pressing the on button, uh, and uh, forgetting about it. The controller just automates uh, everything uh, else. So what we'll do is we'll have a quick look and see what kind of temperature uh, we're, we're at. Now, as I mentioned, we haven't had any heating uh, in this hot tub uh, other than uh, the, uh, the solar collectors. And yeah, it's actually feeling quite nice in there. But um, just using solar energy, I don't know if you can see that, um, but we're over 31 degrees Celsius using this uh, Inkbird temperature sensor um, there. So we've uh, lifted it a good 10 degrees in a day uh, without uh, spending much energy at all because the only bit of electricity we're running for this system is a small 12 watt pump, which is almost like running a light bulb. So uh, it's literally costed us pence uh, to lift up the temperature uh, by, by 10 degrees. Now, if we want to uh, get it to those higher temperatures over a course of a day, like I said, you could just rig it up to the six collectors and we'd find that we could heat the, the hot tub to you know, the 37, 38 degrees, which is what you'd want. The other option is you just whack on your electric heating uh, and just top it up. But a lot of the heavy lifting has been done uh, by the solar collectors uh, for almost no cost. And of course, with uh, no carbon uh, as well. So if you're interested in installing your own solar heating system for your hot tub, uh, jump online to our, our website, solariskits.com. You can purchase kits directly from us. Uh, and if you've got any questions, feel free to, to reach out. We'll be very happy to answer any questions that you have. But hopefully this video has been useful and uh, we'll see you at the next video soon. Thanks very much. Bye. <laughs>